So now it is that your girl's recording. Let's go ahead. Let's get into this next video, y'all. Let's do it. Now, Chico, shout outs to you. The pain of bad anime endings. Oh, man. And I feel like it is. Y'all gonna put my hero in this, bro. I feel like y'all, y'all. Mm, it's gonna be another my hero conversation. I could just feel it in my bones, bro. So without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's get this going. Investing in an anime only for the ending to be trash is one of the worst pains in the world, bro. It's worse than a bee sting. Ah! Worse than losing your favorite hoe? The levels of mental strain investing in an anime early on only for it to be garbage can send you over the edge, bro. That shit could push you into your Joker 2 arc. And we all know that's the most dangerous arc a man can go through. Like That movie was not good. I'm sorry, the first Joker, cool, but the second one with the musical, nah, not feeling it. Investing in an anime publicly telling all your homies it's gonna be fire only for it to fall off after episode two like Uzumaki, Whoa! bro. Like, yo, Whoa. what did I just, what did I just see? We're just gonna glance past that. Family exile you just because you told them to watch Ninja Kamui. <laughs> you told people to watch that, bro. Damn, I hate that that's an example. That's a, that, damn, that is an example of the show. Damn. Turn that shit off. And while getting let down in the first season of an anime is actually like genuinely disappointing, there's nothing worse than investing in an anime for years, years, only for the ending to be horrible. <laughs> Like at this rate, bro, One Piece gonna end with Luffy discovering he has an undying love for Sanji. I'm about to blow. Okay. The ending of an anime is like the final ingredient that tops everything off, bro. Huh? So many times, bro, anime will have the perfect ending in hand. And the writers be like, yo, bro, like, like what if we just fumbled it, though? Wouldn't that be hilarious? Wouldn't that be funny? Just piss everybody off? Death threats and everything, bro. Hilarious. Watching your favorite anime or manga get the Game of Thrones treatment can genuinely send you down a manic episode, bro. A manic episode is... For all you people, it is. I watch Game of Thrones. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry for y'all. Y'all. Ooh. Uh, I actually no, 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 no. I, I don't. I don't feel sorry because the way how it is that y'all really tried to make me watch Game of Thrones, and I sat there and I painfully watched through the first five episodes, fighting sleep. And it's just like, oh, but Ari, it gets better. It gets way better. Just keep watching it. It gets better. Y'all lied to me. And I don't feel bad at all that the ending sucked. <laughs> I don't feel bad at all. I don't feel bad at all. Now, there were some parts of the season that is that was cool. Don't, don't get me wrong. There was some stuff that is was like, I, I could kind of fuck with that. But I don't feel bad at all that the ending was garbage. I don't feel bad at all for it. Because the way how it is, y'all really tried to sit there and be like, but you got to watch it, Ari. And so it, 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 it builds up to something good, man. It, it built up to me having the best sleep, bro. Because that's what it was doing. It was making me go to sleep. It started out very slow. So bad it'll actually convince you to watch Seven Deadly Sins and like it. The old aha. Nah, you I thought didn't like this it. was it's gonna be good, but it's not. Oh, that boy a freak. Oh, that's his thing. Damn, that's his thing. It's like when a guy finds the cure for cancer and gets homelandered immediately. Hi, how are you doing? I'm Lil Uzi. I'm Lil Uzi. Yeah, huh. fuck on me. Your life is ruined. And trust, there's several ways to fumble the bag, bro. If you're trying to be on some promised Neverland shit, just end the show with a montage. We don't need to see those interesting plot points. I have got to get my bitch some. Get out! Did niggas think we came here to watch an AMV, bro? I said, girl, why you keep calling? I said, girl, why you keep calling? <laughs> let, let, I'm trying to see the show. It's like your dad reading you a bedtime story, and he's like, and then, all right, nigga, the end, and just walks out. What? What? what, what? If you're lucky, big dog, your anime might get saved on some Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood type shit, but more likely than not, you're just going to be stuck with your bad anime ending. He burnt my fly. You're doing my drink. It's actually a crime that most anime studios be zero behind the three-point line. The manga literally crafts the perfect ending, and the anime be like, yeah, we read it. It's whatever, like, <laughs> we finna do our own thing, and their own thing is always garbage. Damn. 
Damn. And I can't even just blame the animes themselves, bro, because the manga writers be the ones fumbling half the time, bro. There's no way Kishimoto started with such a good story with Naruto, and his amazing ending to a story already filled with plot armor and shit out the wazoo was to bring a girl nobody give half a fuck about out of nowhere, out of thin air, for no reason, and just auto kill the main villain of the series. You a bitch. You know yeah. why you a bitch? Because I said so. You just a bitchy bitch. You a bitch with McBitcherson. You a bitch McBitch. You, I go to McDonald's and get a McBitch because you a bitch. <laughs> like, you know, Kishimoto was sitting there writing the manga like, yeah, yeah, they finna fuck with this one, they finna love this, and everyone hated it. And, bro, I don't know what it is with, like, shonen specifically, shonen anime and manga, with, like, having an ending where a new character appears out of nowhere, and we're just supposed to fuck with this character now. Like, Oob, right. I, I don't give a fuck about Oob, bro. Like, Goku, come here, come here, bro. Come here, let me, let me holler at you real quick. You have a son, my nigga. Two sons. Train them. Who is this scrawny, bird-built-ass nigga? I don't care about, bro. Any nigga right now who is like, yeah, I really wonder how Dragon Ball Super is gonna tackle Oob. I don't. I Honestly, bro, if they retconned Oob out of existence, I wouldn't give the slightest fuck. Like, I'm sorry. I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't care neither. I I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I would not care, bro. You know, like, it's, it's just... It, the one thing it is that I don't like within, like, anime shows and also with video games is you retconning a character. They're like, oh, this person was here the whole time. No, that's lazy writing. Call it for what it is. That's terrible writing, bro. You you want me to, like sometimes it is a retcon can can work, but it, you gotta make you gotta put in some key elements to why it is that that person wasn't there or like whatever the case may have you. You gotta build up to something like that, you know. But you can't just drop a new character on us like a new challenger head ass and then think it is we gonna rock with it. That's not how that works. And then when we and then when we don't like it, then y'all sit there and get mad at us, the the fans, the consumers, the people it is that are watching this, as like, oh well, how come it is y'all don't like it? You just put a random ass character in, and you think like, bro, you you couldn't even like if it was me and a friend and we're just chilling somewhere out, and then a random person comes in, a new challenger, and I'm your friend now. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> That's not how that works, gang. Sorry to all the Oob fans out there, the Oob diehards. I just, I, no. Leave me alone! Damn. Akira! Spoiler alerts for Demon Slayer. Having any main character get reincarnated in a different world where like everything's perfect now and they get to live the most amazing, wholesome life. W what? Especially oh, when that? right before that, literally everybody dies. Like, it's the most ridiculous ass pool shit. Demon Slayer doesn't do ass pools like Naruto. <laughs> Please, no, 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 don't, don't spoil it. I have not seen the manga. Please don't, don't, don't ruin the manga for me, please. Please. Was that ending not an ass pool? Like, no, nah, bro, it's chill, bro. They're all just in high school now, living their lives, bro. Everything's cool now. Ignore everything else that happened in the series, because they're chilling now. What was the point in seeing them die in the most horrific fucking deaths just for them to insta reincarnate in a way better life in a different universe, right? More than y'all. You're spoiling it. You're spoiling it. Don't, don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me think I did, bro. And Deku not getting his quirk at the end of the series makes my toenails curl into themselves and come out my mouth. Oh, no. Nah, but it's all good, though. It's all good. Don't even trip, bro, because we actually, we gave him an Iron Man suit, bro. That's funny. Hold on. But then y'all think I did, bro? And again, like, honestly, the reincarnate in a way better my hero fan but i did invest more than y'all think i did bro and deku not getting his quirk at the end of the series makes my toenails curl into themselves and come out my mouth all right we're being dramatic we're being dramatic no, it's all good though it's all good don't even trip bro because we actually we gave him an iron man suit bro that's gonna be fire right you know what i'm saying he gonna be he gonna be uh, he finna nothing gang that shit was garbage and it's time we all unanimously agree that shit was garbage bro come on bro Come on, bro. I don't think that it was gar. I don't think the ending was garbage. I don't think. I don't think it was garbage. Maybe it was just me. The only thing that I will say it is kind of like is a little bit of BS is the fact that they went like it wasn't it eight years or some shit. They went. They went like eight years and they ain't talked to this nigga, bro. Like, like let's call it for what it is. I know it is that in America people don't take teachers with serious, serious degree seriousness or even pay them the right amount of money 
But him being a teacher in Japan, that's a respectful ass fucking job, bro. Like teachers are solid out in Japan. So for him to live a modest life for a little bit, he did what he was supposed to do. He wasn't he wasn't born with a quirk. Like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Even all my enemy, like, you know what I'm saying? Like his power would end up going. But like he did his he he saved the world, bro. He saved the world. He fulfilled his purpose. He did all of that research and knowledge about learning about all of his classmates before it is that he even got the hair to start the start the level of learning about with like the his own quirk at the at the time. That was, you know, that was given to him. Let's let come on. He did everything he needed to do. And that's a life lesson. Once it is you achieve the goal within life, you can go ahead and le live your modest, humble life as you were supposed to do. Not everything is meant for forever. And I, I'm sure it is that Deku knew that. So that's why for me, I don't mind it. I don't, I don't mind the ending whatsoever. Everybody else got to live their little li lifestyles, even though it is their, their, some of their quirks, it is, was kind of, okay, all right. If you want to think it is, it is a good quirk, then shoot, then that, for all means. But that be net a motherfucker, bro. I don't understand how it is that you got that level of power and you are still a bitch. Okay, that that I don't understand. I I don't I don't, under, I don't understand that whatsoever. Like you know you know what I'm saying. Like Mineta really shouldn't even be within that 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 whole group picture. You could have took his ass out. To be honest with you, I haven't watched that much of my hero, but I, I watched the the important stuff. And most of the spoiled by the manga. Yeah, the manga got spoiled for me. I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it with that. But with Demon Slayer, like, please don't tell me. Don't don't tell me. Don't say anything. Uh, I ain't gonna read the comments. It is if you do, I'm gonna get pissed off. You know, you hating on the guy that was doing his best at, at the end. Oh, so we so we gotta go ahead and give a nigga a praise that's just there sniffing girls' underwear and stuff like that and being a, a fucking freaky frog, bro. Is that, is that what we doing? Not even the old man in fucking Dragon Ball Z was that fucking bad. And for me to say that about that nigga is, is insane. Okay? For me, to, for, for uh, the Ma Master Roshi himself, for me to say it is even he wasn't that bad, that, that says a lot. Okay? That says a lot. I know he changed, but that that, that little Mineta purple, the f the, you know what? F him, okay? F him. I gotta bleep myself because you know what I mean. YouTube, YouTubing, and this is an anime character. This is a fictional character. YouTube. I promise it is. This isn't bullying. But but f him. Oh, the short f bro. I hate him. <laughs> I just hate him, bro. Also, why do the adult versions of them look exactly the same, bro? You ain't had no business being in here, bro. Y'all keep everybody up in here. Keep everybody else up in here. Yeah, keep everybody else up in here. But you as right here, bro, why are you posed as if like you got all the fing riz in the world, the fing aura, bro? You about to piss me the fuck off, bro. I think I hate, I think I've officially hated the character more than Hulk. <laughs> oh my God. Eight years has passed and these niggas haven't changed at all. They're on that despicable me time in bro. That nobody ages in this universe. Everybody just stays the same age forever. So, Eight Annie. years later, bro, still got this goofy haircut. I know for a fact I was right about everything I said about Deku, bro. I was, I've been on his ass since the beginning of my YouTube channel and y'all was mad about it, but was I not right? Was I not right? Like the actual worst thing you can do in your third act is fumble everything you've built over years. All the themes, characters, everything and fumble it all in the last act because I don't know, I guess you just didn't feel like elaborating on any of those things, right? And unfortunately for the my hero fans it does this to a t to a t contrary to popular belief bro i was fucking with the tone of the show at first i didn't really like deku all that much but i fuck with the light-hearted tone it went bro and like the hate towards deku i swear needs to be studied because y'all y'all like let it be anybody else bro like so what he was a little bit of a crybaby and and he was still out there not only training with all might 
learning about how to handle with the quirk and the levels of the power and everything like that. And it was like, he was still like a little, like stop playing on my boy Deku. Like you about to piss me off. <laughs> to being like melodramatic monologues every five seconds, everything's bad. Like we never elaborate on his dad. We never elaborate on his hero name, nothing. Just it's over, bro. It's done. I, I think the author just saw all the cringy ass My Hero TikToks and just decided to pull the plug. They couldn't even do it anymore. Also, if Deku could get the Iron Man suit, why not just mass produce this shit? Like send it to all over the world on some Killmonger shit. Why would they not do that? That just seems like the easy easiest smartest idea than giving it to this just this one nigga that nobody really knows like that i don't know it's just a little odd don't play on deku name like that what you mean like what you mean it is that people don't know about deku you literally saved the universe bro stop 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 playing stop playing on my boy head top bro stop stop it chico <laughs> cut it out if, if anything if anything like i I won't say to that extreme Jedi, but if y'all gonna sit there and hate on Deku, I need that same level of anger needs to be towards Bakugo. Because he actually did some stuff that is worth hate. Say what it is you want to say. He actually did some stuff that is worth a little bit of disdain towards his character. Not even a little bit. Somebody may argue a lot, to be honest with you. He was mean as hell. And he ain't had no business with the anger stuff like that. I know somebody gonna be like, but Ari, I mean, but like, but like did, 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 did. man, I don't care about that. <laughs> he he actually has some deserved disdain towards his character. Yeah, if y'all gonna do this to Deku, do it to Bakugo. And keep it fair. Keep it keep it keep it fair. Keep it fair then. If you're gonna hate Deku, then you need to hate Bakugo as well. You, and, and he's given more than enough reason, like plausible cause within like the first like two episodes to actually hate that nigga so from the gate from the gate i looked at him a little side-eyed you know if you thought if you thought vegeta is petty then i could do way worse hey you know hey hold on and I think of like all the endings to piss me off, the worst one has got to be Jujutsu Kaisen, bro. I don't know why I put so much faith in the ending of JJK because I still like the series. I still, hey, 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 listen. I got spoiled off of this manga as well. I, I don't mind getting spoiled on certain things, but if I'm a little too heavily invested within in a show, please don't spoil me unless if it is, I, I asked for for that and or, or read the manga. But you JJK fans need to be studied as well, bro. Y'all spoil any single thing from the manga. And then when I seen the ending for this, I got so mad. But I still, I still rock with the series, so it, it is what it is. I still, I, I still rock with the series, even though it is the ending pissed me off. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Because I don't know. I just, I just, I did it's it okay. again. I guess I fucked myself over it's once okay. again. But I put a lot of faith in the ending of JJK, only for it to kind of just go down the most simplistic, obvious route to go. And when I say obvious, do know that I mean obvious and cutting every single corner you possibly could type way. Because yeah. what, like, what happened with everything he built up over the story? It felt like he just kind of was like, yeah, nah, I'm done. Bye. I guess the one positive thing I could say about Suk and his yeah. ending is that I guess he went out hating on Yuji. Uh, I, I guess, like on some reverse flash type shit. He lived a hater and died a hater. I fuck with it. A bad anime ending, a bad manga ending can send you into a depression you may never come back from. You may never trust again. I may never seriously invest in an anime's ending again. I've been let down at least six times. At least six times I was like, ah, oh, so they're gonna do X, Y, and Z. And they do A, B, C, D. Why was this decision made? And it's almost like every single time this decision's made, no one can explain why it happened other than just like, yeah, it was rushed. And I know why JJK was rushed, all right? I know how editorial is and shit like that, but it does suck for the reader, bro. Sometimes I'm just trying to read a really good ending. I, 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 uh, that that ending for JJK was just so damn predictable. You don't even have to read the manga to even know what ends up happening. That's how bad it is. What's up, Quez? And what and what makes it worse is that the JJK fans, y'all, some glazers, bro. It's so bad. It's so bad to how much it is y'all glaze. Y'all will glaze harder for Sukuna instead of just saying that it is that the ending sucked. That, that's how bad it is. Like, 
the ending and the ending sucked so bad that they just they took the word suck and said oh time to glaze <laughs> that on oh my god i'm sorry i'm sorry i had to say it i had to say it but it's the truth like there's still to this day that will there's still to this day women that will be like oh daddy sukuna like what or daddy gojo i was like oh my god stop stop not only you spoiled the damn series for me you put the spoilers in in things that aren't even manga related and then on top of that too, once I get invested within this within this bitch, the ending sucks. That's what that's what you wanted. That's what you sat there and you glazed this hard for. You know? Why is this why is this nigga editing on my screen? Not too much. I don't even hate Attack on Titans ending because while it was stupid, and this, this right here that you're looking at. It what Attack don't don't say that. Lose peak. Lose peak. Lose peak. I don't care what anybody says. Ending Attack on Titan peak. Peak. Right, right here, one of the dumbest fucking things I've ever heard of in my entire life. I actually hate it. Put it back. You can't do it. It's disgusting. But at least it kind of felt like an ending. It felt like, yeah, this was going to be what happened, all right? There was no other way to go than this. With JJK, Demon Slayer, My Hero, all these shows, I felt like, why did we go this way? Why did it end this way? But I guess I'll never have my version of everything, because who am I? I'm just a nigga on YouTube ranting and shit. Get a job. Start a family. Fuck, nigga. Like, what is you doing, bro? Damn. How you feel about yourself? Lately, I've seen rap. And, and get this man off my screen. <laughs> get this man off my screen, bro. I, I wasn't even peeping game to the fact that that was the ending. Oh my goodness, man. <sighs> like I said, some of the series it is, I still rock with. Even though it is the ending, it pissed me off. Or I got spoiled in some form of way. But that's okay. That's A-OK. -okay. I still rock with JJK. JJK, Attack on Titans, My Hero. I still rock with the series. I still do. Now, with My Hero, I didn't mind, I didn't mind the ending, but like the other two, you know, oh, oh, or Attack on Titans. You know, I'll just I'll just keep it just for like JJK because even though this is y'all JJK fan spoiled it for me, it's all right. But Gigo, shout outs to you. Thank you so much for the video. <laughs> shout outs to y'all in the chat. Shout outs to you at home. I will catch y'all in the next video.